My town hall upgrade finished this morning and I'm literally just now logging into the game. Welcome guys to town hall eight. I'm super excited. We're going to be starting town hall eight today. It's a big process. Town hall eight is huge compared to town hall seven. And uh, I will definitely be referring to my town hall eight upgrade guide, which I uploaded yesterday. You can find that in the guides playlist if you have not seen it or actually in the video before this one in the playlist there. Shout out to loose cannon, by the way, to uh, for donating the clan castle troops. You are absolutely amazing, my dude. All right, let's go into my progress base and let's get some of the new stuff because that is how you start a town hall. You want to get the new stuff. So uh, let's see. We got yeah, some eight second upgrades. By the way, I am rocking with the 20% discount gold pass because this is gold pass clash. I did not mention that because I'm just excited about being a town hall eight. Um, we got here in 23 days. This is the first video where we are town hall eights and it only took... 23 days to get here we started the the, the video or the uh the series on january the first and we are here just killing it it's just it's just awesome so let's grab all these new walls and oh i didn't line that up right hold on hold on hold on wait right there there we go okay so uh i'll get is, am i not able to do that fine i will i'll do it again just like so so getting all the new walls guys um like i talked about in the upgrade guide super super important get the new stuff because that is just where your value is going to be. You can gain so much on your base getting the new stuff since it's short upgrades, right? I mean, that's the simple pro that's the simple mathematical truth. So, ooh, lots of traps. Wow. Okay, two two spring traps. I forgot how many new traps. I mean, I literally made the, the guide yesterday. <laughs> I didn't realize how many new traps. I feel like I might have made a mistake in the guide because I don't remember mentioning another seeking air mine. Uh, but you get another seeking air mine, and I'm not going to complain because. That's amazing. Or right, what else? We got, oh yeah, two skeleton traps. Dudes, this is, this is amazing. So there's not actually that many new defenses that you're going to get day one, right? Because like the rest of these, uh, if you look at the, uh, get another dark elixir drill, you obviously get the dark spell factory, which is a huge priority. I might end up getting that today. Uh, another mortal hidden Tesla wizard tower, and then the new bomb tower defense. All those are, you know, more than a few minutes. So we'll, we might get those at the end, but Here's one thing that you always do at the beginning, and yes, I will update my progress base between episodes, is you always upgrade your laboratory without hesitation. Now, 12 hours from now will be about 10, 10 p.m. That works out. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> so, laboratory is going. That's amazing. Now, what else is a top priority? Things like the clan castle. That's a huge priority. 19 hours from now will be like 5 a.m. Not a fan of that. Uh, Spill Factory does not get an upgrade. The Dark Barracks, you unlock the Valkyries. That's a huge one. Unlocking the Barracks and the... Or I'm sorry, unlocking the Pekka in the Barracks. You get no Army Camp upgrades. I'm basically just reviewing everything from the upgrade guide. Do you get storage upgrades? No. Do you get Dark Elixir storage? You do. Do you get... Well, obviously, you get like every single defense. So, um, okay. Let's just start working on these things since they are short 12, 12 minute to 4 minute upgrades and in the meantime oh i've got to put my uh i gotta put all my stuff down you know i'll do that all that off camera i'm just gonna stay on the progress base for now so um i've got this 4x star bonus i'm really excited about i've got lots of extra loot i've got some practice rounds i get to take advantage of using the pekka and the golems and all that stuff so that's gonna be really really exciting let's go and do a couple of raids i'm probably gonna land the 4x star bonus so we're going to fill up our treasury or at least get a ton of loot in our treasury. And I have had the hardest time because I made it to gold league, right? As a town hall seven, now that I'm a town hall eight, um, and I'm still just a heads up. My attacking is still essentially town hall seven because you do have the power potion, but the power potion is dependent on the laboratory. So because I haven't gotten the laboratory upgraded completely, I'm still basically town hall seven. The only thing is town hall eight about me is the clan castle troops. Cause I think they're a little better now and the king which is level 10 and check this out dudes this is a super lucky find like i mentioned i have i made it to gold league but i've been having a hard time finding loot okay or, or, or no loot's fine i've been having a hard time finding trophies so let's just get in here and let's smack this base all right uh let's see if we can maybe lure the king over no okay well at least we're distracting a wizard tower if he comes back this way he is not coming back this way let's see what he does because he might pull the king out and that'd be amazing. Let's actually drop the uh, the hog out here in case... Oh, there is a dragon. Oh, blast. Okay. Um, king, I'm going to need you, bro, to stay alive. <laughs> Please stay alive, king. And let's place down the wizards. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, 
here. Let's put down an archer. I'm just going to pull the dragon out. And this is going to be kind of tricky. Um, yeah, this dragon is is totally like... <laughs> it took it a long time to realize that the archer had gone up to the rest of the base. But okay, so let's do this. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six. We're basically putting everything down except for one. And I think this dragon will go down. Oh, the mortar! Leave my wizard alone, you mortar punk! Stupid mortar punk. Okay, and CC. There we go. Okay, so I think I'm, we're going to be okay. Uh, remember, I'm still at tunnel seven, so let's see how we can do. Um, kind of watching for... Yeah, let's just drop a heal right there. Uh, just because there's a space, and I don't like spaces. Spaces mean giant bombs. Giant bombs mean death. We don't like that. Uh, and I'm going to watch the group that's going to cover the giant, or the, the bomb tower first, okay? So whatever group that's going to be, that's the group that needs to be. Actually, you know what? Let's just heal over the, the bomb tower. Why make it complicated, right? So that worked out, and I think that's all of the defenses. Uh, so let's put, you know, let's put the wizard out here for that. And there we go. So the hog's actually working on the skeleton traps, got rid of that, and now they're going to work on this enemy king. He's level 10, though. He's pretty beastly. Uh, my king didn't stand up very long, though. So that's kind of confusing. And oh, wow, giant bomb, what? Oh, that was really smart, putting that giant bomb over there. Come on, hogs, come over here and help the king. Help with the king. Come on, come on, come over here. There we go. Kill the king, kill the king, kill the king, kill the king. Oh, they, <laughs> they might all die here, guys. That's it, game over. We did not three-star this base, guys. I'm pretty confident that we we just failed. Oh, actually, okay, we got several hogs still alive. All right, maybe this wizard... Nah, I was going to say maybe this wizard will get a shot off, but didn't happen so come on hog come on why aren't you getting the king did you see that he walked right past the king that was banging him on top of the head with a hammer and the and the and, and the hog just was like ooh, treasury <laughs> ah. sometimes dudes sometimes these troops are just lacking in basic in, in, intelligence here there we go there we go get it get it get it get it get it get it oh we got him yes look at that with like two troops left we got this three star dudes Unless we run out of time, we might run out of time. This is um, this is a low level storage, but it's also um, a low level clock. <laughs> we got like no clock left. Come on, we <laughs> okay. It's gonna come down to the absolute wire, guys. This might be a ninety nine percent two star. So stressful. Why? Why does it have to be so stressful? Yeah, we got a two star. <laughs> Well, I am a Tunnel 7 attacking a Tunnel 8, so I guess getting a 2 star is not bad. I've been 3 starring a lot of them, though. But there you go. That was a lot of loot. That was actually pretty solid. Okay, so I can't... Re oh, dang it. I can't request for CC troops for a few minutes. That's fine. Well, okay. In the meantime, guys, remember, this is Gold Pass Clash. And uh, doing this out of order. Uh, remember, the rules for this series are very simple. We're buying the Gold Pass every month plus a $5 pack. Uh, we're going to keep our builders busy 24-7, and we're going to record our progress after a year and see how far we get. Also, don't forget to use code Klaus if you guys decide, decide to buy your own gold pass. Um, now, I am normally going to do a common question of the day, but I'm not today because it's a new town hall, and that usually... That's just a lot of content, but uh, please post your questions down below, C-Q-O-T-D colon, and I will answer a question in the next video, and I'll be answering questions from the last three videos, actually, uh, one of them, because uh, I just haven't done a common question in the past few videos, so that is something to consider. So I, uh, ooh, hold on, can I do this one? 16 minutes? Nah, I'm not going to do that one. What about these? Nine hours, uh, <laughs> four hours, all these are long, why did this take so long? My goodness. Ooh, that Seeking Your Mind's maxed out, actually. I'm going to move it up here. Very nice. Sweet. <clears throat> so, what are day one priorities besides trying to get some loot? Uh, <laughs> uh, day one priorities include things like the Dark Spell Factory. You know what? I'm going to get that Dark Spell Factory now. I'm just going to go ahead and pull the trigger on that because Poison Spell and Earthquake Spell. Super good. So, I'm going to pull that trigger. I'm also going to grab the lab and pull it over. And I would like to get the clan castle upgraded for uh, also. I mean, it is an elixir upgrade, so that's a lot of elixir on day one. And that is going to finish off super early in the morning. So ah. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do something short. It's probably one of the new defenses at the end of the video. And then I'm going to upgrade the clan castle and get it tomorrow morning, but not at 5 a.m. when I'm not awake. I'm going to do it when I am awake, you know, 7, 8, something like that. Usually, actually, our alarm goes up at 630 but I don't normally like to get up that early. So, um, yeah, uh, I guess I can request for some CC troops in a few seconds, and then I want to show you guys what's going on with Builder Base. Actually, I might be able to get some loot with some raids. I don't know. 
I don't remember if I did that last night or not. It's been, it's been an evening tradition for me. So here, let's hit that request button. There we go. And let's go over to Builder Base. Yeah, look at that. I get some loot. Nice. Um, I've been working on Baby Dragon. So I got one, I think, one level upgrade left. I mean, level eight looks like it's maxed for the Barbarian. So it makes sense that it makes sense for the... Uh, baby dragons would be maxed as well. So, you know what? Let's go raid a base, and I'm going to try level 7 baby dragons. Um, I have not done any raids with baby dragon. Oh, we only get two? This is bogus, bro. Okay, fine. You know what? Yeah, let's switch out one army for... Let's just switch out one army for barbarians. You always put down... <laughs> you never put all of your troops down immediately. It's like your, your wall breaker, like your coconut loon thing, right? Like, you just don't. But okay, so <clears throat> I've got this. Let's uh, let's see. Can I... Yeah, I'm going to take out that cannon, keep the baby dragons focused. Uh, they, they're so slow. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm used to baby dragons on my, uh, my max account. They're really good because they're maxed. This is terrible. This is super slow, but I mean, it's better than nothing, right? It's better than the stinking barbarians that that are limited by walls and whatnot. So, okay, and we got ourselves some uh, terrible defenses doing damage. So, you know what? I can actually get in there and sneak in there and take one of those. I think that'll work. Yeah, that will work. Nice. All right, and can I uh, accumulate some more percentage? I'm not going to three-star this, clearly. So, can I get more percentage? I'll get that right there. Perfect. Builder base. Trying out baby dragons for the first time in a long time, too. This is this is an exciting day. I'll be going to the next builder hall level probably tomorrow. Actually. No, because I've got to okay, I'm gonna max the baby dragons and then I'm also gonna max the uh gem mine. So once that's done, then I'll go to the next builder hall level. So 65% uh, two star. That's not terrible. Let's see if we actually won that. Oh, we did. Ha <laughs> ha. Sweet. And this guy's got a battle machine too. That is hilarious. So um, when you upgrade your baby dragons, you improve the tantrum. Okay, good. That's that's great news. That's really good news. Because that's, uh, uh, yeah, it's level 10. Level 10 baby dragon is huge. Because you get an extra baby dragon per army camp. <laughs> that's, that's an amazing, that's an amazing improvement. That's a 50% improvement to your troop levels. It's just it's just crazy. So, okay, I've got, oh, I haven't got my CC yet. Okay, well, I'm going to go raid anyway, because I ain't got no time to be waiting around. So I'm going to attack the first Tunnel 7 I see. I get them occasionally, and I will three-star a Town Hall 7 no matter what. So, and I want the three-star because I want that loot. Found one. It took a while. It took a little while to find this Town Hall 7. It's only 12 trophies. If I found a, uh, a Town Hall 7 yesterday, it would have had to have had at least 20 trophies. That was kind of my goal. 20 trophies with Town Hall 7, 10 trophies with the Town Hall 8. That was kind of what I was looking for. Uh, but I, I don't have time for that. Because I, I, I searched for a long time to find bases that fit that description. So <laughs> let's take this guy out. I got no CC troops, so I got to be careful. Um, ooh, I can actually get to both Wizard Towers really, really fast if I come from the top left. Okay, Hogs. Do your worst. Do your business. Do your job. <laughs> Whatever. Let's drop a healer out there. There you go. And I've got some archers. Let's see. Do we have any corner buildings? We do not. Excellent. Let's put the king down in here. He'll start distracting some defenses. And uh, that enemy king is being kind of a pain. Dang it. Here, let's drop a heal right in the middle. There, you never know. I thought there was a giant bomb right there. It could. There still could be one. There's not. Okay. That's cool. Um archers let's see do y'all need to here let's just put them over there to help out with that and the hogs have turned on to the king he's not gonna last much longer because level there's a huge difference dudes between level five and level 10 king i don't know if you guys have noticed but my hogs handled that level five king like a pro versus a level 10 king when they just kind of went eh. like that's what they did they just like showed up and died because the king just showed up and breathed on them and He's got really bad breath. And speaking of the king, don't forget that I have a community post that I posted a poll asking what I should name my king. I'm going to give you guys another few days. If you haven't gotten to go vote, please go vote. Here are the results as of right now. Uh, looks like um, Alexander is winning. So if you like a name other than Alexander, go vote for it. Um, I personally voted for Julius. I thought Julius was a cool name, but... It's all good. So go vote. Links for that uh, link for that post is down below in the description. And look at that amazing loot. That is some really good loot. All right. So, uh, oh yeah, that's even better. Thank you, Overtime Jolt, by the way, for the uh, Hog Rider guys. If you want to join my clan, join my Discord server. Links for that is down below in the description. Clan stays closed all the time. You got to join through the Discord. 
Very nice. Okay, so we, we got lots of loot sitting in that treasury now. Oh, yeah. Dudes, we're in great shape. And I made it to Gold League, too. That's amazing. And I just realized I've got lots of achievements. So let's collect those achievements now. This video is all out of order, guys. New town halls are fun. Uh, upgrade to Town Hall 8, 20 free gems, and 1,000 XP. Very nice. The other one, I had three of them. The other one is destroy 250 Builder Huts. 10 gems, 100 XP. Very nice. And then the last one is from Clan Capital. Contribute 40,000 capital gold to upgrades in the clan capital. Look at me being a being a contributor. <laughs> That's awesome. 75 gems, 20 XP. Very nice. And I'm level 47 now. Got to fix the XP. Okay, so looking at what we have going on, I think spending some Dark Elixir so my storage isn't maxed out would be a great thing. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the King to level 6. So 8,800 Dark Elixir. He's going to be maxed out super fast, super easy, no stress. It's going to be awesome. Next is we only have one builder left. And if you look at Elixir-based stuff, again, because you want to focus on offense day one, you have things like the new Dark Elixir drill, which again, you don't need... You don't need to worry about that for, you know, for at least a day or two. Uh, the new barracks, dark barracks, uh, not new barracks, new upgrades. D barracks, dark barracks, dark looks of storage, gold mines. You need to upgrade the gold mines for sure. That's going to happen once the lab is going to take too long. And that's it, really. So, and gold storage. So, um, I think what I want to do is get one of the new defenses. And then, like I said in the video earlier, um, I want to here, let's do, um, let's do the longest one. I'm gonna get the other wizard tower. Cause if you guys watched my upgrade guide, you found out wizard towers are OP. So, oh, you know what? Before I do that though, I want to spend some loot. So let's actually upgrade these walls. All right. I'm going to get them to the elixir level, whichever level that is. And I want to dump a bunch of elixir into walls, not into walls. Actually, I might do a bunch of elixir into walls today. I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. There's elixir. Okay, I just don't. I have. I have too much elixir. I don't want to be sitting on this much elixir, in uh, in before I log off. So, let's let's spend a bunch of it right here. And all these new walls are already level six. Actually, yes. Let's go. Let's go all the way to level seven with this thing. How much is the clan castle? It's a million elixir. Well, you know what? I've got a million in my treasury, so I'm just fine. Let's go ahead and get all the walls existing and new to level seven that's amazing and now i don't feel so bad about logging off and somebody attacking me because you know hey there won't be that much loot for them to get so bam there you go and there we go that was my day one priority i have a builder coming available in two hours that's the wizard tower i'll be upgrading the clan castle so keep that in mind and then the dark spell factory will probably be upgraded again uh, that's that's my guess but stay tuned until next episode so you guys can see what happens and also again i will update my my progress base and then once i get all the new buildings upgrade my defensive base and uh yeah we got a lot coming so uh let me know in the comments first of all your comment questions but also how long do you think will be town hall eights before we move on to town hall nine I, I, my guess my guess i did the math already is it's gonna take three weeks give or take give or take a few days up to a week so we'll be uh, about, about day 40 or so let's just say about day 40 is when we go to town on nine so uh guys that's gonna be it for me today thank you so much for tuning in hope you enjoyed and i will see you all next time